Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing fall in August. I'm doing a tray. Um, this is a tray from Let's Resin. And these are some acrylic leaves and some glass marble beads. I'm gonna be using Hidden Treasure from Island Mica Zamor, which is an interference color. Interference, um, I've explained it in other videos, means that if you use it over a light color, say this is interference gold, you're gonna get like a pearl white with a gold sheen. But if you used it over a dark color, it's gonna pop really, really gold. So we're gonna be using that for the background. Be trying some new resin from the Hippie Crafter. Um, the resin was super thick. I kind of like that. It was super easy to mix, um, three minutes. Their website is posted and everything I'm using is posted in the description box underneath the video. Um, their website is amazing. I also love their logo, but their website has artist tape, like tape for to go around your resin pieces, stretch canvas, paint and art wipes, acrylic paint, like everything you could think of, they have it. So you go check out their site. So I mixed up three ounces, I mean six ounces, sorry, for the first layer. And actually, usually when you're doing a mold and you take it out, the underneath is going to be the top. But I'm doing it backwards today. The top is going to be the top, if that makes sense. So the first step is super simple. Six ounces of resin, and I'm going to use Interference Gold. That's one scoop. Let's see how that does. You want, you want to mix your interference colors very well. If not, you'll get streaks. Not streaks, but like little puffs of the mica in there, it looks like. Just mix it very well. It happened to me on an ocean tray actually one time. I didn't mix it well enough, but it kind of looked like it was supposed to be water, so it worked out. So you can see it's like pearl, but you can see the sheen of the gold. And again, I'm just making sure it's mixed up very well so I don't get any little clumps of mica. All right, so for this first part, I'm just gonna cover the bottom layer. I measured um, out with water and I feel like this mold takes 12 ounces. So hopefully six ounces is enough to cover just the bottom layer. If not, I might need to go mix up a little more. I'm just really wanting this to be the background. And I don't want to make it too high because then the beads will stick up. And I want them to be underneath the resin. I think I need to mix up about two more ounces to be safe. Let me hit it with the heat gun and see if it spreads. Because like I said, it when I mixed it, it was super thick. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to put my heat gun on low. All 
right, and that is actually perfect. So for the first layer, six ounces. I'm gonna take the camera down so that you can see it up close, but basically we're just gonna let this part cure and then we're gonna come back and put the leaves on. So I will see you tomorrow when this is fully cured. Okay guys, so this is ready to go. The interference gold is super pretty. <clears throat> I cut some words with my Cricut and I'm gonna lay these down first. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. And this is just Just some transfer paper. And I'm just gonna pick these up. Okay, so I actually did them off camera because they were gonna stick to this bag, but I'm just gonna lay them out. Hopefully I get them straight. Probably crooked. And then the blessed down here. This is a super easy one. I cut um, the wording with my Cricut. That thankful is a little crooked, I think. It's gonna drive me nuts. And I, I did them four inches by one inch. All right, so now I'm going to start laying out my leaves and my beads. Thankful is going up a little bit, but I'm just going to leave it like that because it kind of looks like I planned it that way. Um, I'm just going to lay these out. And you can feel one side is flat and then one side has the texture. So we're going to put the flat side down. One of these over here. These are clear, um, kind of see-through. When you put resin with something see-through, it just disappears. So all you're really gonna see is the little orange swirls in there. That's perfectly fine. I'm just really putting them anyway. side here. This little guy has a little piece that's sticking up. There you go. Now at least flat. I just cut it off. This one over here.
you know, can go that way. So fall starts, I think something like September, right? September 22nd. And um, it doesn't start getting cold in the Keys till basically October, the end of October. And not even cold, just cool, like not so hot and not so much humidity. But for September for us is the peak of hurricane season. So kind of sucks. Hopefully this year will be, um, hopefully it'll be a very inactive season. But I always tell my husband when I'm filming the tutorials to turn the TV down and not to be so loud because you can hear everything. And I can hear him out there singing to the dogs. You are so beautiful to me. It's actually pretty cute. Put that one there. He has to make noise though. But you can like hear through everything. Okay, so I covered up my thankful, so I'm gonna have to move that. smaller one there. So I'm going to put a few more over here. I think that's it. Don't want to overkill. One of these over here. <laughs> I can't stop. All right. So I have everything laid out where I want it. And I'm gonna mix some resin up, probably about four ounces for the first go. And I'm gonna use a little bit of gold leaf um, so the, the handle's not so plain. I was showing my sister and she thinks the handle's super plain. So let me go mix up four ounces of resin and I will be right back. Hey guys, so while I was, while I was off camera, I ended up peeling up that thankful and making it more straight because it was driving me nuts. So I also mixed up six ounces of resin and I'm still using the same resin, Hippie Crafter. Um, I just remembered last time how I used four ounces and it was, was just enough and we have to cover these pieces of acrylic and marble and I'm hoping that it, it's going to cover it, that the mold is high enough. When I look to the edge, it doesn't seem like anything's sticking up. So I'm just going to come in with my resin. I think some is going to stick up, but you know what? It might actually look good on the tray. I mean, I see people making trays with geodes and it has like glass sticking up. We will, we, we will see. My sister is like a genius with designing stuff. So when I need help, I consult with her. She was saying that I should use some gold leaf because the, the handle is gonna be too plain. But the leaves were her idea. She showed me real leaves actually, but I had these. But she used to make cups. Um, but unfortunately, she has a bad allergy. She found out to resin, so she cannot create. Even with full PPE, she breaks out. But she does other crafty stuff with vinyl and stuff like that. 
And she does alcohol inks on ceramic cups. And this is like the perfect amount of resin. And yes, some things are gonna be sticking up. I see this. So I'm just gonna make sure that they're covered with resin so that anything sticking up is super shiny. I got resin on my favorite shirt. I'm not wearing an apron. All my fault. I did a pause and tried to wipe it with the baby wipe. Probably not gonna work. So I'm just scraping the rest out of here, making everything's making sure everything's covered up. And then I'm gonna use my heat gun. take my gloves off so my heat gun doesn't get stuck I've been doing resin I don't know now it's been like four or five years I think and I have had the same heat gun and I see so many people have to keep buying heat guns because it gets stuck or whatever but this this baby has lost forever so I'm just gonna use a heat gun to pop the bubbles I don't want to torch it and I'm gonna put it on low I only have two settings on my heat gun, so I have to like switch it up and down to s and listen to which one's high and low because I forget. And I'm kind of doing it up from up high so that it doesn't move the resin around. some gold leaf I have my handy dandy tweezers I see a little air bubble under the leaves leaves so I'm just gonna push them down so that they pop up and we'll do the heat gun again I'm actually gonna do a spritz of alcohol just from far back so a little spritz and then I have my paper towel to clean my scissors and I'm going to get my gold leaf and I just like to grab one piece I'm trying not to get it everywhere like one little piece like that and then I just start tapping on it and it breaks apart into the littlest pieces because I don't want to overdo it. get that up in the handle so my sister is satisfied that I don't have a boring handle. <laughs> the interference gold in the background does it for me. Makes it not boring. Wait till you see when we demold it and then I take it out into the sun. 
how it's just a tiny bit of shifty gold. I have like 18 projects going on. I know I'm talking a way too much today, but I have like 18 projects going on. I have a swap going on in my resin group, resin fanatics, and then I have a couple custom orders and then I'm trying to make artwork that I wanna make. I feel like a crazy person. Break this up a little bit. I think that's good enough. I'm just moving it around. I really don't want to overdo it. That piece is way too big. So just, you know, move it around to where it makes you happy. And then I'm going to get my heat gun one more time to pop bubbles from far away. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't close this. Thank, thank gosh there's not a lot in there. <laughs> that would have been like everywhere. So from far away. And then we're gonna let this cure tomorrow and then I'm gonna demold it and take it outside from here I think it looks really cool it's something different um, I've never done something like this on a tray I usually do like ocean art so I like it we'll see how it looks tomorrow I'll see you guys tomorrow all right before it cures tomorrow I'm back to add a little more gold leaf <laughs> Maybe it's not too much. I'm gonna put some chunks in the in the corners because I when I'm sitting there looking at it, it kind of looks plain like they're kind of just floating around the leaves. Somebody's watching this right now and saying, oh my gosh, stop. That is a huge chunk. It does not want to come apart. Kind of like holding it in my hand. And then pulling it with the tweezers. And I think that is enough. Maybe one, a little bit tiny, a tiny bit more on the handle, like bigger chunks. I have tons of this stuff um, back in the day. I, I used to make so many geo, geodes.
All right, and now I'm gonna leave it alone and let it cure and stop messing with it. Hopefully I didn't overdo it, but it's fall, so I'm get blingy. All right, guys, see you tomorrow again. <laughs> All right, so this is ready to demold. And last night when I was trying to go to sleep, my mind was going crazy. I was thinking about this tray and I was thinking I should have brushed the edges gold. So I'm just gonna use this paint marker. I might do maybe a flood coat because there is a little lip around there so it'll hold the resin in. I'm gonna paint the sides. not gonna do this on camera it's gonna take forever I will okay, be right guys back. so I got it outside I got the edges painted I might have to do one more coat on the edges thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.